And we're back for a little bit more Tales of Magiel. I'm in the Alter Daikara. We left off with this giant pharaoh, or greater pharaohs, staying at the entrance to Daikara. And it's gonna bum rush my way pretty much through this in the um, Paradox Portal or where else comes around. For the most part. Oh, where did the devourers come from? Let's uh, move a little bit away from them. Eh, it's a little bit too far away, but whatever. Let's confuse these guys. I should probably take. Um, turn back the clock off my um, list there. These guys just keep coming. Not that I really mind, but. And why not just want more here? Hey, we finally moved away to these guys. I think I uh, already saw this poem, but let's just read this poem. I'm feeling bored. I feel like we're reading a little bit lore. The Micromancer's um, Cantacil. Saved from a coffin, casket urn. Darkness falls, but life returns. Flesh may fall, bones may burn, but soul remains for which we yearn. Those who return to life's esteem, we see their hearts, their eyes do gleam. They rave, they kill, they gnash, they scream, so full of joy, their greatest dream. Returning those that we amend, they hurry home, a distant friend. But do they cheer, do they commend? They yell, so does rotting flesh offend? We bring life to lifeless bone, but do they smile, do they condone? They sit upon their golden thrones, they shine a spur us, make us unknown. Fools sit high in, go in golden tower, from lofty perch you glower. Time will come when you will power, we rule death, we wield the power. Probably already read that poem already, but it's a good poem. Good to read in our time. Uh, Trent. And this guy. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. Whoops. Whoops. Storm Drake. I can actually do this. This is actually a good place where I can use my um, gravity spike to draw stuff out of hiding like this. Should be using it more for that. Ah, uh, so what's happening? At this point, I've almost made it through all the second tier dungeons. There's basically this one and uh, the Temple Rift, pretty much from the starting, you know, stuff that I've yet to do. I'll probably be going to do all Dreadfall in this run. Last time with the Ghoul Nick Master, I didn't really keep going all the way, and well, I don't exactly, you know, think that's a bad thing. I obviously would have preferred. If I could um, kill the master, so to speak, in a roguelike, I have yet to do that, and I won't actually do that for one of these roguelike uh, runs. What are you? Uh, this guy's a reaver. So, 
Wonder what I'll have to worry about from this guy. Guess nothing. Hooray! So there's the first level take care of the way. Just slowly running through all this stuff, you know, at this point. I really wish I found a heat beam ruin or a frozen spear ruin at this point. It's one of those things. I'm I'm looking for these ruins so I can actually get rid of my you know detrimental effects when they come. Looks like we've just found a vault by the way. You know, I'm thinking that these guys are in a vault, so even though the lightning's uh, forking off, I'm not hitting the other guys in here. Like, he's at 100% health. That guy that I hit will be at 100% health. He says right here, zero lightning damage, basically. So stuff isn't taking damage until I see him. They're all dead. Ooh, the Fragment Essence of Harkazoon. This will be fun. I haven't fought this guy for a while. Let's do a wretch. Ashes to ashes. Zap. Zap. Kill him. And he's gone. Yeah, I figured another one would pop out, so you know. Let me get close, so to speak. There's another one somewhere, but... Oh, there it is. Or this will make the... Uh... You know, I just thought something very um, important. I'm not in a place where I can teleport around. I should move away from these guys. A little bit. Nope, that wasn't the one that uh, makes the big boss. You know what, let's look around for the other... Oh, interesting, the vault actually uh, is open here. One of us from a meteor. Whoops. Move forward there and Harko Zoon! And I'm in a place where I can't teleport. This will be fun. Let's do Rex that. Uh let's try confusing him. Didn't confuse him. Well, it wasn't too difficult, um, would you know? I got an achievement for him, because I, you know, you have to do that in real quick for some reason. Got the crooked club from him. Probably might be more difficult than he was. You know, Dakar is one of these places where it actually gets easier to do this place as you wait. Not because, like, you know, these guys don't get, you know, um, I guess they don't get, uh, more levels as you, you know, come in here later. Thought they do. Oh, this will be fun. I can't hit that. Guy in him. So you know what? Let's gonna go like this. I'll take that level up. Do this. Let's go. 
Like that. And that. Zap you with this. I think he just killed himself. Though it's possible that the other guy killed him. Heal up a little bit. So I level up there. Let's see here. Um, I don't think I'm anywhere near enough to get the fixed skin to two yet, but go down here and get space time mastery of three of five. So the cooldown on this has gone down. Yeah, it's, it's going down every single level from whatever it was. I'm going to be able to use the eventual step as much as I pretty much want. You know, I've been thinking about saying this, um, but, you know, wasn't really sure if it's very true, but Paradox Mix seems really overpowered because it has Dimensional Step over here and, um, you know, a lot of this, like, stuff over here. The Chrome SD spell, spell Space Time Weaving is actually really powerful, if you um, understand its power. Okay, this is the knockback field. This is the pinning thing. I was actually thinking, by the way, of, like, getting Gravity Spike up a little bit. And yeah, the radius of that's going to increase as I increase that up a little bit. I'm actually going to increase gravity spike just because this is a really useful thing I, I, uh, you know, I think I'm using it quite a bit. Just like for dragging stuff around. And now, let's uh, fuss a little bit more on willpower. Check to see if my... Oh, I got a mental save. And on we go. That was fun. That was fun. Knock those stuff around a little bit. Kill that guy. Don't know why I'm taking so long here. I, I'm used to Daikara being more dangerous because I've been I'm I'm more used to like coming to Daikara early just because you know I, I like the challenge. But it's like, this feels so weak. Because I guess I came to Dakar last. And I don't usually come to Dakar last of like all the alternate stuff that I have here. Go like that. They're coming over here for some reason now. Um. Guess I'll have to deal with this guy. Hey, why not we got ourselves this guy over here? All the fun stuff to deal with. You know, that car is one of those fun places. If you go to, to it early, it's like a real challenge. And if you come to it later like this, I guess, it's not so much that it's a challenge, but it's just, um, 
Wow, what, what happened to the screen there? Went white all of a sudden. But no, the car is one of those places that it's good that in that it doesn't really, um... It's entertaining to go to the Daikara regardless of the time you go to it. Feels like you have to think. Before coming here. Do, 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 do. I, I don't know why, but I can't see a shit anything. My speed bars are gone. I don't know if I'm taking damage or not. All right, there we go. So that's finally out of the way. Don't you love that white screen that keeps popping up? It's obviously a graphical error of some type. It's not really killing me, luckily, but it certainly is annoying. Alright, so, stay out of uh, the area over there, and just get book it down there. Alright, um, I got three of these guys right away. Let's go with a big ass stun. I actually want to get the snow, snow giant boulder throwers first, so we'll do that there. Here's where, you know, this can be good because it can hit multiple foes, but... Oh, well, whatever. Just go like this. Go like that. Bunch of kills. I hit something there. I think it was this guy. Ah, uh, what to do? Let's just wreck. And why not? I'll get bumped out of my wreck. Ow, I'm taking damage all the way down here now. Okay, my shield's taking a real beating here, but... Okay, that should be it. Hello, there's still guys in here. I think there's a guy up there too. Okay, I hit something there. I hit Lorendale, the Snow Giant Chieftain. That's the rare over there, I guess. And... It's still here, I think. Uh... Get rid of that.
It's one of those things where I know there's a guy here, but I can't see him. I am hitting him, though. AoEs are for the win now. Is that it? I killed her? Yes, this is a very fun instance of Daikara. White screen. That rare. Let's get out of here. I'm looking for Khan on this stuff, right? Constitution so that I can boost up my talent in the generic talents for skin. And there's my one con from that. One from that. Very good then. Sell all that. Zap you of this. Heal up. Let's so I'm actually gonna go through my equipment at this point. I've actually been going through quite a bit of the game at this point, and now I actually have to start thinking about one keeping and one getting rid of. Okay, this grants still have a few dragons. I might actually want to keep this, but this will be one I'm gonna keep for a con, I think. Or actually I can't wield this because I don't have the strength. Uh P. I've only got 24 strength, and apparently that's not enough to uh Wield this Warbringer's Dwarven Steel Axe because you know, whatever. Uh. Keeping that because it's set up for a set of items, keeping that for uh, other reasons. I also want to get decks for the Frost Treads, too, I guess. Um, I don't really need to keep the Slug Strip anymore. Get rid of that. That works. We'll do that for now. Now I have to put back on whatever helmet I had on. I have no idea what I had on. I'm just gonna put this back on. I haven't put on blood color yet, of all things, apparently. Should definitely put that on. Um, this is a nice ring, but... Honestly, it's not that nice. This one at least has dexterity on it. Which is good for the frost treads. Which are now have equipped. I've got so many things. Stuff I don't need, for example. I said stuff I don't need. That guy's tra transmogrified. That's for mana. Alright, well, there's just a quick go through my items. And, oh boy. So, I read in the forums that there's like these cultists that if you hit them, um, they basically summon a like, succubus or whatever it is. Uh, as soon as you hit them, they basically will uh, come for you, I guess. Alright, we're going to step away, I think. How do these guys work? Basically, if you hit them with... Um, with anything, they'll get hostile or whatever. And if you don't kill them in time, um, a succubus will jump out and basically try and kill you. And apparently it's no joke, because it has some sort of powerful meteor attack. So being very careful around here just not to trigger it. Because, you know, this is a roguelike run, and I'd rather not lose it. 
idiotically. I mean, what would be more idiotic than losing the character to something new that I've never seen before that you guys might enjoy seeing me die to? Yeah, it's a joke. I'll, I'll try doing it, but I'm just going to uh, try and get through alternate Dakar first. So after I kill all these guys here. Yeah, they're scattered all over the place, these, um, guys. I may have just triggered them there. Maybe in the operative word. Or maybe I didn't. Luckily. Kill you for sure. Do that. Go like this. Hit them all, and they're now kind of like that. Okay, I don't want to get too close here. Um, believe it or not, but that is actually now something I have to look at, because guess what? The, uh, chromatic time travel might be useful. Well, reduced paradox failure equipment to willpower would be actually very useful. So there's that. I want to keep this. Let's see, chromatic time travel, what is that? I'm pretty sure... Oh, it's this stuff down here. So time skip, um, um, inflict damage damage, your target fill, um, fills a spell save, the target survives, so will be removed from the time for free turns. Echoes from the past, creates a temporal echo and a raise of two affecting targets, will take as well for condition between your current life and maximum life. So that's actually another good skill to pick up for my ghoul, because you know it's close by. If you inflict time, reduce the cooldown of all your towns on the cooldown by two turns, and reduce the duration of most cell effects currently affecting you by two turns. Also good. I want to invest in this eventually. There's a lot of good stuff on the um, Paradox Mage tree for the Paradox Mage. Expedition Journal. Trent. That's out of the way. There's the temporal portal. That orc is dead. Zorn. There's some fun stuff. Cup versus stuff. Why not? Kill his jelly. Uh, there's 
still guys around me. Kill this Umber Hulk. Alright, so there's the Temple Rift. I want to get into it, but let's just go after um, Varsha first, so to speak. Nope. Don't care. Sell that stuff. And why not? We got Varsha right there. Just out of range. Boink. Uh, boink. Damn, I got this guy too. Alright, well, let's see. I'm going to go after this guy first, I guess. Yeah, I knew that rock was going to hit me in the face. I'm going to go with a stun on Dem. Only got him. Oh well. Damn boulders. And everything else is coming at me. Okay, you're almost dead, but I want to make sure you are dead. Nah, it's not going to be able to hit him. Finish him off. That didn't knock back either of those guys, sadly. And Varsh is not close enough to be hit by that. Or I hit that on Varsha, so... Go like this. And that. And that. And why not? We have more guys joining my party. Hit Varsha some more. Why not? We'll hit him with this. Let's go with that. Yep, drop those things on him. Nope, there goes my shield. Put that back on. Let's do that. There goes Varsha. I basically cleared out all the second tier bosses. That was easy. Here I thought I was going to have to use, like, you know, this to find Varsha and deal with her in some majestic way. Alright, good. I can put this on now. Alright, let's finish off everything that's in here. To the east. To the east! They know how much I love these these guys. Kill them. Put that on. That's why, you know, start wasting. That did nothing to you. Oh, fun. Ow. Wretch. Yep. More guys are popping in. My paradox was going pretty critical here. That was not a really big worry. But I did use a lot of paradox there to uh, defeat all that that came at me. Out of the way. Yeah, this looks like fun. They're out of the way. This. This, this, and that. Well, I jumped in an odd direction. One thing about the chain lightning, you can't pick which direction it's going to bolt to.
Well, well, that's fun. Love these rare molds that you know that cast ram stuff on you. And I just missed this guy completely. Ugh. Kill him with fire, not really fire, but kill him with vomit. That's what I'm doing, killing him with vomit. Wow, I sort of went off into the distance over there. Hey, you got star. That gives me one, one light ray, which is actually not bad. I, what? Uh, it must be the alternate Dic um, Dicara doing all this crap. It's a bit annoying, but oh well. You know, I'm gonna keep star. Great. Let's just move out of that spot so I stop getting crap hitting me. Hello, beauty. Here with this, Sam, why not? One of that white stuff is like some sort of effect that's trying to get off and it's failing to. Well, I'm almost up to another level. Whoops. That's the nice thing about Chain Lightning, it doesn't go off unless you hit something with it first. It's not your standard type of skill. Just want to get through here now very quickly before this white stuff becomes a problem. It wouldn't be so bad if I, you know, I could see what the hell I was doing and like, you know, it's just a screen going like that, but it also takes out the, my interface too, which is just plumb annoying. I guess free light ray is not enough really to draw my attention. Alright, excellent. Alright, so there's got these damn corruptors and everything. But I think what we're going to do is we'll do Temple Rift next time. And then if I have more time after that, we'll do the corruptors after that and show you off that. And if I die there, then so be it, I die. You'll see how horrible the. Succubus boss is if it gets summoned. Take care for now.